Welcome back to the basic series of Vivian tutorials. So far you've learned how to manipulate Vivian's user interface and how to use the wireframe and shaded views. With that basic but very important knowledge in hand, you now are ready to start designing your first event. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a basic venue and add some basic objects to it as well as how to use layers effectively in order to organize your file. As you will come to understand, using layers in every file is one of the most essential aspects of the Vivian workflow. So learning about them early on is as important as learning the basics from the previous videos. To get started, let's first create the venue within which our event will take place. As you learned in the welcome screen tutorial, you may start a new Vivian file and create a venue at the same time. But another way to do that is to start with a blank file. Before defining our venue, let's make sure we have the correct measurement unit selected. You can choose between metric for centimeters and meters, and imperial for inches and feet. Imperial is set as the default measurement unit in Vivian, but you can double click on it to alternate between imperial and metric. For this tutorial, I'll leave it as imperial. Now, click the draw menu, click venue, and then choose one of the four options, just like on the welcome screen. In this tutorial, we'll work with the Room Venue. Should you wish to explore the other venue templates on your own, they are fully described in the Vivian User's Guide under Define the Venue section. The window that appears asks for the room's width, depth, and height. Enter these in the corresponding fields, then click OK to insert the room. Since the drawing wireframe is currently in Plan View, what you are seeing is a rectangle that represents the room as viewed from above. As explained in the drawing wireframe tutorial though, you may change the viewpoint if needed or switch to the virtual view in order to see and work with the interactive 3D model of the venue. Now that we've created the venue for this event, let's save the file. You'll find the Save button conveniently located on the main toolbar and in the File menu. The Save As option, which you can use to save a copy of your file, is also located here. The fastest way to save and the least disruptive to your workflow is to hold down the control key on your keyboard and press S. After the first time you save the file, it's a good idea to save once in a while as you are working along. Just keep pressing control S after every significant change or addition to your design. Vivian will confirm each successful save with a document saved message in the status bar. Before we add anything else to this file, let's start exploring layers. Layers are drawing aids intended to help organize your event diagram. You can think of them like transparent sheets upon which you can draw, and since they're arranged in a stack, you may remove or replace them within that stack in order to see only parts of the diagram or all of it. To start using layers, you must first enable the Layers toolbar by right-clicking in the toolbar area and selecting Layer. Next, click the Layers button to open the Layer Database window. This window, in addition to listing all the layers in the file, allows you to perform various layer-related tasks, as you'll see shortly. Should you ever need to close this window in order to free up some screen space, simply click its Close button. By default, every Vivian file contains one layer called Main. While using certain drawing tools, Vivian automatically adds layers to the file for your convenience. Such is the case when using the Venue tool. As you can see, the Layer database currently lists two layers, Main and Venue. The Main layer was part of the file, while the Venue layer was added automatically when the room was created. Note the green check mark next to the Main layer. This check mark indicates that this layer is current, meaning it is the one onto which objects will be placed. To make another layer current so you can add items to it, select it in the layer database and click the check mark button at the top of the window. The check mark moves to this layer in the list, indicating that it is now the current layer. It goes without saying that only one layer can be current at any given time. Should the layer database window happen to be closed, you can always rely on the layer toolbar to indicate which layer is current. To add a layer to your file, click the plus button at the top of the layer database window. 
enter a name, select a color, and click OK to add it. We'll add three more layers to our file, one for stage elements, one for the people objects that we'll place around the room, and one for miscellaneous items. If you make a mistake or wish to rename a layer, you may do this by simply clicking on it and typing the new name. Similarly, to change a layer's color, click its color box and select a new color from the drop-down. Since we've now made enough significant additions and changes to our file, let's save it again. If you ever end up with a layer which you do not need, like the main layer in our file here, you may delete it by selecting it and then clicking the minus button at the top of the layer database window. Neither the current layer nor the layers which contain objects may be deleted. The event that we're designing requires a stage and a dance floor, so let's add these. Start by making the stage layer current. To draw the stage, we'll use Vivian's versatile riser tool. Click the Draw menu and select Riser. In the new Riser window, enter the dimensions for the stage. Click OK, and then click within the drawing wireframe to place it. The dance floor is raised one inch from the floor, so we'll use the Riser tool again to draw this object. This time, though, instead of using the Draw menu, we'll simply click the Riser button on the Draw toolbar to activate the tool. Let's add some cocktail tables next, by inserting them from the library. Make the Tables layer current. Open the Tables library from the Library menu, and once you find the table you require, double-click on it. The table is now ready to be added to the diagram. As you can see, it appears on the cursor, and Vivian prompts you to insert it. The table remains in the cursor, and you may continue to insert as many as you need. When done, simply right-click in Empty Space and click Finish. Alternatively, you can press the Escape key on your keyboard. Now's a good time to save the file again. We will now add some people objects to our file. So we'll need to first make the people layer current. Click the Layer Database tab to bring back its window, then make the people layer current. Go back to the Library Browser, switch to the People tab, select a Person object, double-click on it, and then click in the Drawing Wireframe to insert it. Feel free to select and insert as many as you like, and then save once more. As you've probably noticed, objects that you insert always appear in the color of the current layer. We will discuss objects' color and appearance in detail in the next video. But for now, if you wish to change their color, simply select a new color for the layer. While it is desirable to have objects such as people in the diagram, you may not wish to see them all the time as they may interfere with your workflow. To facilitate this, Vivian allows you to hide a layer, and any layer may be hidden except the current one. That just wouldn't make sense. To hide the people layer, we'll first switch back to the layer database window, make another layer current, then click the eye icon for the people layer. As you can see, the people objects are no longer visible in the drawing wireframe, and the eye icon changes to indicate that this layer is hidden. To make the layer visible again, click the same eye icon. In other situations, it's useful to see the objects on a layer, but not be able to make any changes to them, either accidentally or on purpose. For such cases, Vivian allows you to make them uneditable by clicking their pencil icon. When a layer is uneditable, 
you will not be able to select any objects it contains and the pencil icon changes to indicate this state. To make a layer editable again, click the same icon. As you may have guessed, the current layer cannot be made uneditable. Be sure to save this file so you can use it in the next tutorial where things will get a little more exciting as you'll learn how to change objects appearance and other properties. After all, a venue with bare gray walls and a dark red stage would make for a rather boring event. Thank you for watching.